feature. Right, which is great because screenshots have pretty much stayed the same. You can take a screenshot, it goes right. into your photos album, but now you're able to access iOS 11's instant markup features. Oh, that's great. And so many fun new ways to share them too. So let's take a look. So here we're on our iPhone now, and um, a little bit about screenshots. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my photos album here and tap on it, and I'm gonna go into the screenshots album, which was new with um, iOS 10. Right. And so it puts all your screenshots in one place. And just to show you an example, of if you're new to screenshots, what you might take a uh, screenshot of. I'm gonna tap on this one. This is an example of I started an, uh, an app and they had some new features and it gave me this notice of what they were. So um, I might wanna take a little screenshot so I can reference that later. Right, or maybe you wanna show it to somebody else. Right. Say, look what's new. Another example would be an alert or notification that comes up. Maybe you wanna um, you know, talk about it with someone later. You wanna take a screenshot. Right, maybe there's an error message that came right. up and you wanna share it and say what the heck's going on here. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot. I'm going to go to our website. And to take a screenshot, you press and hold the home button and the power button at the same time. And you see a little shot. Now notice it's small and low in the lower left for a few seconds. And boom, it went away. And where did it go? I don't know. I'll show you. <laughs> um, but uh, this is new with 11, that it shows you that little preview for a while. Right. And you can do things with it, but first we're going to show you if you don't do anything. Hold on. Hold we'll on. Look at that in a minute. It's going to put it in my screenshot album folder. There it, there it is. is. If I tap on it, there it is. Voila. But there's a lot, many other things that you can do with that little preview. Right. Uh, that are really, really cool. Right. Let's so take a look. Let's take a look. Um, <clears throat> but the, I'm going to go back into Safari and I'm going to take that same screenshot again because um, any of you who have a website know that on mobile it looks different than on a computer right. and so on. So we're not real happy with the A in the middle there. And being on its own line. Being on its own line. So we want to show that to somebody. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to take a screenshot. And it hovers in the bottom. And I'm going to tap on it now. And it brings up the editor. Right. And it brings up the instant markup. I don't know. There's lots of different names going around the yeah. internet for this. But we're calling it instant markup. I like instant markup. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's great in here. It's also in a lot of other places. You might have seen it in mail. You might have seen it in, in preview on your Mac. And you're going to see it in the Files app. Um, right. It's, there's a lot of places. It's really awesome that you're able to do this. Um, actually, you can do the photos album too. Anyway, I go on and on. Um, so it comes up here, and the first thing is you're going to notice that there's handles. There's a blue line around the screenshot, and those are your cropping guidelines. So we can come in, and we could drag in, and we could crop into a certain part of it if we want to. Okay. okay? I don't want to do that, so I'm going to drag it back out. I want okay. to show the whole screen here. And then along the bottom, we have a number of tools. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at those in just a second. Let's look at the top also. In the top right, you're going to notice we have undo and redo. Okay. Oh, so perfect. if I say undo, it's going to go back to my crop. If I say, if I tap on the right one, redo, it's going to bring it back out. It's so advanced. <laughs> Very advanced. So, and we have done, of course, that would be yeah. done. We're going to okay. look at that in a minute. And then we have the share button we're going to look at in a minute and the plus or additional features. So let's look at the tools that are on the screen all okay. the time. The first one is a pen tool. And you can see that it's sitting up a little bit higher. The next one is a highlighter. That means and the you next... have it selected when it pops up. Right, 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 exactly. It's selected when it pops up. So you've got a pen tool, a highlighter, and a pencil. And with any of those, you can change the color. On the far right, we have a black circle, and you get those a options. A few colors. <laughs> a few colors to work with. Not too many, right? They want to keep it simple. Remember, this is just quick yep. markup here. So. We're going to go ahead and I'll pick red. Yep. Okay, and you can see the tip of the pen turned red. And okay. when you're done looking at the colors, you just tap the, the tool you're using again, and it comes back out to this mode. Okay. And I'll show you the other two in just a second. So now you can come out on the screen, and I can say, okay, I'm going to circle this A. Okay. That's amazing. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And I'm going to draw a line up to it. And then I could write something. I could um, I could come in here and Maybe I could say, uh, yeah, let's highlight it. Let's go to the highlighter and let's pick yellow. And let's yeah. highlight that Just A. Just so they know what we're talking about. Right. And then we're going to, we want to add some text. Now we don't see text right. here. So if we go to the plus, uh -huh. we have a few more options oh, that didn't fit on the bottom. The first one is text, yep. which we'll look at right now. 
it puts a box out on the screen and you can pick it up and move it around. If you've used preview on the Mac, you're familiar with marking up things. It's the same markup features. Okay. So I'm going to come in, double click on it and say... Um, change. Change. Just say change. Just change this. Exclamation point. And um, then I'm going to tap on it again. Or say return. Whoops, not return. Come back. Yep. Tap on it again. And now I can go in, and you'll see down here I have a couple of options. I can go to the double A. Oh, wow. You have some different fonts. I have three fonts to choose oh, from. Fun. And I can change the, the size. size. Oh, that's really cool. And the centering. Oh, I love it. Okay. Okay. So maybe and the color I left. see out there. The color out here. So we can go in and we can change the color to red, too. But that maybe doesn't white. look very good. I white. Think white would be better. Perfect. And I'll put it over the arrow so we can kind of see. Um, so that's how you work with type. Okay, now let me get, oops, out of the type. I'm oh, sorry. Let's get out of the type just by tapping away. Yep, and it's we're a little back. tricky to get used to, right? Yeah, especially on the phone where it's kind of small. tapping back and forth, but you'll figure it out. Right, right. <laughs> the next thing you can do um, is, well, then you've got the pencil, which, you know, really looks like a pencil. Yeah, it's um, kind of useless. If you zoom up, it's it's got, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like a crayon almost. Right. So I'm going to back. I guess, yeah, you could make it different widths if back you want to shade again, or something. Right. And I just pinched to zoom in on that, which you can also do. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and take the eraser, and now I can erase something. So I'll oh, go ahead and erase it. that line. But let's say that you've drawn a number of things. I'm going to come back out here, and I'm going to draw another circle here and another circle, just to show you sure. this feature. Okay. Um, I think I'll zoom up on it, too. By now, pinching. Yeah, by pinching and zooming. Right. Here to the right of the eraser, you see the magic rope tool or uh, the lasso tool, I'd magic like to call lasso. it. Magic lasso. Yeah. What that lets you do is select individual pieces. So if I just lasso around a little bit of this line, Mine. I'll be oh, able to move it. That is so cool. Yeah. If I wanted to get more than one thing, I could lasso over part of both of them. And now I'm moving. Oops. Whoops. Whoopsie. Get back here. You got to tap on it, yep. circle around it. Now I can pick up those pieces wow that's pretty advanced so it's pretty cool <clears throat> you have a lot of ability yep. for marking up and moving things i'm going to go ahead and select this um okay. no i'm not going to select no. it okay now, now i'm going to go back some out more advanced Let's features zoom back out like yep show you a couple more advanced things um one is signature so you could come in here mm -hmm. and you could add a signature or an initial and these are the signatures that you might have i'm going to add my initial that you um maybe have minor showing up because they're coming over from the Mac. Right. From maybe um, from, from a PDF preview. program. Yep, or from preview. preview. That's where they're coming from. Right. It has to be within an, the Apple environment. Yep. Um, but you can also go ahead and signature and you can say add or remove signatures and you can take some off or you can hit the plus and, and you, you can, can add a new one. A new one. Jane Doe. Perfect. You know? Very creative of you. Yes, thank you. And now we've got Jane Doe in our list, too. Oh, so that's awesome. That's kind of nice. If you have to quick sign something, you can do a screenshot. You know, sometimes people will send yeah. you something to sign right. it. It's a Word document. You can't open it right. Yeah. Just screenshot it, sign it, send it back yeah. to them. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you also have a magnifier tool. And what this does is it magnifies. So you so, can yeah. see now I'm magnifying that A up. Yep. Um, or, you know, you can put it up here. So that's just a way of calling something out right. yep. saying, get rid of that. Love it. Uh, the other option that we have is shapes. shapes. Yeah. Yeah. So we can draw any shape that you want. Um, you can get on any of the blue handles and change the size of it. Okay. Yeah. Make it different. Um, and then you can also go in and pick the line weight that you want. Right. Okay. Or if you want it to be a filled circle. Right. You can do that too. Perfect. And you've got the line, arrow. so you can yeah. do an arrow, and you can just pick up and yeah. drag it around. Now it looks like around. a huge mess. It oh. does. It looks like an awful <laughs> mess. <laughs> um, and then the last thing that you can do is a talk bubble. A so talk that's bubble. kind of I love fun it. Too. You can put your little comment in there, like move that's this. That's right. Egg. You can move that around. Oh gosh, so, it's really advanced. You really have a lot of features to do. So those are some fun editing features. Should we look at the share button? Yeah, now? let's look at the share button now. So in the lower left, you see the share button, which is you know, they're in quite a lot of apps nowadays. That's right. If I tap on it, you can see I can go ahead and share this screenshot. I could uh, text message it, mail it, add it to my notes, tweet it, put it on Facebook. Um, we'd look crazy if we tweeted this out, right? It certainly would. It certainly would. <laughs> this jumbled mess. Um, and it, a lot of internal things, too. Um, you can copy or print or, you know, any features that you have set up. 
So that's a great way to share it, easy way to share your right. screenshot. And there's one other thing I want to show, which is um, when you say done, so you've shared it now, you can choose whether you want to save it or delete it. And I oh, think that's perfect. a really nice that feature. Nice? So I'm saying, no, I don't need yeah, to keep it. I've already it. emailed it. Yep. I've got a record of that in my email. Yeah, now you don't have a bunch of screenshots taking up your photo space. Right. And then the last thing I want to show is that you can do multiple screenshots in one thing. Scroll down. Screenshot, scroll down, screenshot, screenshot. scroll down. Notice the pages are screenshot. stacking up behind here. When I tap on it, you'll notice now that we have three dots at the bottom. Wow. And oops, oops. I'm able to... Go into any of those pages and modify. It's pretty them. amazing. Yeah, so it's really pretty yeah. powerful feature for working with. Uh, yeah, I mean, it took the thing that's been with the Mac since almost the beginning, the screenshot, but it's always been like super simple. Right. And really taking it to a whole other level. Right, which is amazing. It's an awesome program, awesome ability, I should say. It's not really a program. <laughs> right. But it shows up everywhere, so keep looking for instant markup um, wherever you might go. Right, and um, I hope you enjoy screenshots. Thanks for learning with Sync Sisters. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We so love making these videos and bringing you this free content, but we do need your support. Right, so how can you support us? First of all, don't skip the commercials. That's how any creator makes money on YouTube. Um, like our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link. Same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right. So thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.